So we've got our first daisy that we made in episode one and today's going to be a lot easier for you because you've got that damn pat by now, you've probably practiced. So we have our daisy wool maker and I have threaded my yarn onto the big eyed needle. This is how you're going to join the next daisy onto the one you've got and we continue in this fashion to create the size scarf that you want whether you want a long rectangular scarf or whether you want a triangle scarf so let's start so with your threaded big eye needle we're going to align up so that our petals on the daisy wheel match the petals on our daisy Remember last time we said we're going to work on our wrong side so we flip our finished daisy to the wrong side and I'm not sure if you can see that's where we knotted it last time. It's not highly visible but it's nice to keep our knotted sides all on the same side and you have a finished side which is um, just that little bit neater if you're a little bit OCD like me. Right now we're going to align our daisy wheel uh, maker up to our daisy. You can see how two petals align with the two bumps on the daisy wheel maker. So with our threaded yarn we're going to go through our first petal. Leaving a tail because we're going to work around the daisy wheel like we did before. So there's our first petal. Now there's our guide. So we leave a little tail on our guide. Round the opposite to where we've started. And we're going to finish the daisy like we normally do. You're just going to incorporate those two petals that are going to be aligned by threading your needle through. Haven't picked the best yarn because mohair is so grabby but it's so beautiful. So we've threaded through our second petal. So it's going to be two petals that are joining on our first one here. And we continue like we were before in episode one. We finished the ones that will be joined so we don't have to worry about getting that needle through. And then we're going to tie a knot. So we've tied our double knot in the center joining them. So remember we're on the wrong side. We're going to flip that. Keeping our short tail out of the way. We've got our little crochet hook from before through the center. And pull that through. Now as before we're going to continue uh, in a, getting our center nice and solid. So we've got our long tail and that's going to make the center. Pulling it under those two crossover pieces from our first petal just to a loop. And then we're going to bring the long end through so that makes it a nice knot. We're going to work around the whole daisy like that and I'll come back and show you when I've done that. So I've gone around and completed my nice solid center. And you might want to adjust that to make sure it's all pushed into the middle so you have that nice dark center. So I've got a little bit of excess there. Turn it back over to the wrong side and I'm going to Pull that thread through and tie it off. Okay, so I've tied off. We're going to flip that over. This is the right side and I'm going to remove it. So this is what I love about this little flower maker. Bends. And there's our two little joined daisies. Now there's one extra thing I'd like to show you. And it's the same process. 
so you don't freak out about it. Joining, so if you were going to make a triangle scarf, you're going to have to join two petals from that one to this and two petals from this one to this and proceed in that fashion. Sometimes you will have three daisies around it that you're going to join into. It's just a matter of position your little motif, your flower maker in the right position. Make sure your petals are flat, sitting flat, so that you know which ones are going to join and then begin. Right, now we're ready to add our third daisy. So this is going to be multiple joins, not just one daisy to another. This is going to be one daisy to multiple. So the same principle as what our last one was. It's just going to have more petals to join. So it might get a little trickier with your hands. Just go slowly, go at your own pace. And you can always redo, you can always cut that one out if you make one mistake. So again, we're going to our wrong side where our little cutoffs from our tails were. Our threaded needle. We've aligned it up so that we want that one and that one to these two. And then we're going to have this one and this one. Those two are already joined, you see. So I work from right to left. And again, this isn't necessarily the right way, but it's how I work. So threading my thread through, and I'm going to leave a tail for my daisy roll maker. Putting my thumb on it. Threading it around. That's one petal. Second petal. So we've got those two joined. So we're moving on to our next daisy. So we're lining these two up. Needle goes through that petal. Around. Using lots of fingers here. You'll learn which ones that you'll find comfortable to keep things in alignment. Second petal on that daisy. And then we'll finish our daisy off. Now we're just going to tie off. So I've tied off the two ends, remembering we're on the wrong side. So I'm going to flip that one over keeping my short tail out of the way, putting the hook through the center, bring the long tail through. And I'm going to complete the center again like we did last time. And I'll come back and show you when I've finished. So there we are, I have uh, finished off the center of that third daisy, I've tied it off cut the ends, removed it from the daisy maker. And you can see there, that's the right side. And the wrong side it does look slightly, slightly rougher, not terrible. But that's why we want to keep them all made the same way. And you continue in this fashion. You can make a, a long rectangular scarf or you can make a triangular shawl. Um, and you make it as big as you want, however many daisies you want to make. Um, when I make my triangular ones, I like to go around all the edges with just um, single crochet or chain all the way around and it holds the petals in their right position so they don't bend over. Um, it's just something I like to do, not everybody does that, but it does give it a nice finish and if you want to you can add tassels um, 
or keep it a, sh a shell finish or whatever edging you like to do. I keep it very simple because I want the daisies to shine. I hope you've learned from that. I hope there are a lot of people out there now who are going to make it themselves a daisy wool shawl. They are a beautiful thing to look at and to wear.